for the the VOD people. Nobody has shown up yet, but uh, I figured I'd say early on. Oh, never mind. People have shown up. Hey, BSS. Um, I may or may not be out of it today. I got the day off. By which I mean, I called in and said, "Hey, the roads are icy." And you remember two weeks ago, I'm not fucking coming in. Um. So right before this, I watched the last three episodes that I hadn't watched yet of uh, the Quiet on Set documentary, Slumber Party. <laughs> that is not the appropriate answer to the Quiet on Set documentary. Not at fucking all. God damn, that fucking documentary was terrifying. I almost threw up in my mouth. Jesus Christ. Is that the Dan Schneider? Oh, it's much more than Dan Schneider, and it's so much worse than Dan Schneider. It's... It's a lot more. There were, uh, three separate individuals. Not Dan Schneider. Dan was all, oh, wow, I chose sharpened that texture still a little bit. Ooh. Um, yeah, Dan was just, you know, asking, since the 90s, by the way, for the female writers to massage him and, you know, getting... If the parents complained about certain sketches, that kid suddenly didn't have, like, a fucking future and shit like that. But, like, like that's crazy and all the feed and sexual stuff. But, like, it's sexual. Which is still fucking awful and shouldn't be happening. No, what we have here is, uh... Three actual... Pedophiles. Uh, what the fuck? Good God, it's... I don't think God has anything to do with it. Yeah, it's... It's definitely a nightmare of a documentary. Allow me. It's one of their weaknesses. A fire! So, technically, this stream is also, surprisingly enough, a, uh, a palate cleanser. For the absolute insanity that was. Like, okay, so I can. I'll. Third episode is actively. Out of the four episodes, is actively a, uh,. An interview with Drake Bell. You know, Drake Bell, Drake and Josh. Um, who actually went through something horrifying. Um, well, in episode two, they talk about a different kid having interactions with this particular person who's working on, like, the All That set. And, you know, it... He's talking about how the guy's house is very weird, and he's saying how the guy has a Planet of the Apes shrine in his house, like a room dedicated to Planet of the Apes, another room filled with comics and games, and I'm like, that's not that bad, right? I mean, fucking, it's just a nerd. Didn't they give Drake his own show in exchange for his silence? No, Drake and Josh is... No, I don't think Drake has had his own show yet. I mean, he was Disney's Spider-Man for the longest time, and he then became... The child version of Arrakis. Spoilers if Mike is here, because we haven't done Kingdom Hearts 3 yet. Spoilers for Kingdom Hearts 3, there are flashbacks, oh my god. Um, but no, it's just like, here's this guy who, you know, has a room full of comics and stuff. I'm like, whatever. And here's the shrine for, for, uh, Planet of the Apes. I'm like, whatever. In the same room. Oh, and here is my... I did this out of the cross. Here is my self-portrait, which means the painter drew himself and then gave it to this guy. 
Here is my self-portrait of John Wayne Gacy. He and I are pen pals. And it's like, what? Oh yeah, he's my buddy. Like, here are all my, here are all my letters. And he's keeping them in a drawer at his bedstand. And there, there are no words. What the fuck can I eat? Yeah, the clown kill. What the fuck do I say about that? Right? Besides, that, that's in the documentary. That's a thing that's in the show. Ha ha ha. Not ha ha ha. Oh god, it's it's just It's not okay. How the fuck it is so much worse than anybody ever thought it could possibly be. Let's finish this. Like it it really is. I thought Dan Schneider was going to be the whole documentary, and Dan Schneider was the tip of an iceberg, and I didn't know how big the fucking iceberg was. But boy howdy, it's been going on since the actual fucking 90s. It's not just Dan, and it's not just Dan recently with iCarly Up. It's been going on since the beginning. Watch some of the 90s All That skits, and they have clear signs. And it was also like... 90s All That. First iteration All That. Asking, you, you know, oh, I don't think women are funny. We only have two women in the writer's room. We kind of are forced to have them. Hey, you know what would be really funny? How you, you should do this? We're in the writer's room right now, and you're trying to explain to me the sketch that you want us to do. How about you tell us... Uh, you want to know what would probably make it funnier and we can improve it? Say the sketch again, like what happens in it. But pretend while you're telling us this that you're being sodomized. And it's like, a fucking excuse me? Like, I don't know what god exists, but somebody better be fucking paying attention up there and stopping this shit from, from getting into whatever afterlife there is. It's not acceptable. It would have never been acceptable. It... I, I just... I don't... I don't even know anymore. Can I send you a cute thing that might cleanse your palate? This is the cute thing. I'm playing Final Fantasy, right? Ha ha ha. That's the palate cleanser. Streaming is the palate cleanser today. But yes. I mean, you always send cute things. You can send me cute things here. You can send me cute places on the other side. Other types of cute things. You can send me this... <laughs> I was about to do the Jay and Silent Bob thing of, uh, I'll fuck that bitch, I'll fuck this bitch, I'll fuck anything that moves! But, <coughs> oh no. 50 bucks, little man, put that shit in my hand. Yeah, no, it's... The whole thing was just... Fucked beyond a shadow of a doubt. I love a hand hand stocking. Like, that's cute. That's great. Absolutely. Look at Barrett's little drawing. Doesn't even look like a, an arrow. It looks like a kunai. Ninja dagger. Fuck this guy. Fuck that guy. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh my god. I... I fucking love Jan Dude, <sighs> Clerks 3 made me cry so hard. It's the only one I own, because Clerks 2 is still at the old house. 
And those are the only two I own. I still have to get Clerks 1, get Clerks 2 from the old house, get Mall Rats and Dogma, Jay and Sons, Bob Strike Back, and stop with that. Because I don't need Chasing Amy. I've never seen it. I don't really care to. And I actually, you know what? I need the Clerks TV show, but I've seen it enough times it's pretty much burned into my brain. Don't get Midoriya, why can't I get a girlfriend? Probably because when you touch people, they disintegrate. Also, of course, of course Shigaraki is wearing a fucking League of Legends hoodie. I'm such a nice guy, he says while wearing a League of Le- I call the joke before it even comes! Teeny Tiny Midoriya. Teeny Tiny Midoriya is cute. Well, the worst part is, I've... I've seen the rotten sides of League of Legends, and I'm still like, that's not a bad community. Keep it together. I'm that's because when I played, it wasn't a bad community. It was not that bad. You want the bad one? And nobody's gonna believe me on this. The bad one... Is, the bad one is, uh... Please don't grab me. Is... I can't even talk about it anymore. I can't think. Not MHA. I mean, when it comes to MOBAs, the bad one is specifically... Smite. I have had so many bad conversations in Smite, uh, or people spamming. Go right, go right, go right, curses, surrender, 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 AFK, AFK, AFK. I know you've had bad experiences with MHA. I have not, surprisingly enough. But then again, I'm not talking to people except for you. You're the only person I talk to about MHA, I feel. And when I was in league matches, some of them were just like, oh, fucking, let's just surrender, kill yourself. And then, you know, as Ash, I would turn us around because I have a pretty high, I would say I have a pretty 50-50, which is high for a MOBA win rate with fucking Ash. I don't know, it's been, you know, years, so I'd have to look. But, at the end of the day, um, Smite, it's like every fucking match. It's ridiculous. And I'm surprised nobody talks about it. Or that I've seen. But everybody talks about League! I'm not talking to them anymore. Ooh, that's a good that's a good decision. None of these are good, but it did give me experience to get to level nine, which cannot make that, but I will add it to the list. Let's add. Uh oh, my to do list is full. Well, I've I've done that one and I've done this one, so why don't you take them off? <laughs> oh my god, I found you as a pup. But but puppy is is no. Do I actually want to see the pup? Oh, oh god, what is this? We don't want no dog in our house, dad, next day. Okay, hold on. That is an extremely small puppy. Why is, why is that me? Why do you think this puppy is me? <laughs> BSS, please explain. Knowing full well that you are live on camera. Because <laughs> she's tiny and cute and her color is a princess doll. Okay, you know what? You know what? You win. I am tiny small. And I am princess. Caller, no. Uh, 
Uh, I've done, like, everything here at this point. <laughs> oh! Oh, I have, like, a bunch of stuff that I could actually do that I just haven't been looking at. And I'm already halfway to ten. Huh, I didn't even realize that until now. God, Mount Nibble theme is so good here. Uh, I'm guessing this way? Unless there's a way to get to the gondola at some point. I haven't been in a gondola in fucking forever. Ever, I just realized. It's been over seven years. This was a thing? This is a thing? MP materia. I need to be looking specifically for, uh... Can you look me up the location for, I think it's the warding materia? It's the materia that allows me to heal from certain attacks. Like, if I attack with a fire-based thing, I, whether it be materia or actual, uh, stuff, it will specifically heal me. Because I don't remember where it is. And that gravity went off right before I finished the battle. It's great. Uh, is there anything that will indent signs point to? Yes, surprisingly enough. Probably close the big website that's taking all my goddamn computers, or my laptop's energy. I can't collect energy anymore. The man who allowed that to be possible no longer is with us. And I did, I think, at some point in a video, do a moment of silence for the man, the myth, the legend. You spotted a chalk drawer and Yuffie left for you? Oh, that is an actual kunai! In chapter 9, on the Golgaga region, jump to the other side of the platform on the image using a chocobo. The area is found using chapter 11. You can find a board of material on your way to the nimble... Reactor. Wait, okay, no. Wait, there's not one here? I thought there was one in the initial climb up. Am I crazy? Warning is the one that makes this up. Wait, if you have it paired with a fire materia, you can all fire attacks. Heal you and stuff, right? Can be purchased from stores at some materia from chapter 10 onwards. God damn, it's so late in the game and I want to use it now because I have... Fire Ice Materia on Cloud, I could get one and just have it where every single attack he- Oh my god, I could get- I could put Lightning Wind Materia that Chadley has on Cloud and the Fire Ice Materia, and then each one gets a Warding Materia attached to it, and then all of his abilities heal. Grants resistance to the Linked Materia's detrimental status effect? That is not the one. That is if you have a Materia that allows you to cast Stop, Enemies can't stop you. What's the one you want? Uh. Fuck me! I can't think of the name of it. I thought it was Warden. Uh, material that lets you heal from elemental damage. Elemental plus healing in a remake. Oh my god, I can't think of the fucking name of it. It's a blue or purple materia. I think it's a blue materia. If you look up all the blue materia in Remake, it'll be in the list. 
RPG site list of unlocked materia. Okay, let's see what this is. That is all. This is the one I looked at last time. Okay, perfect. So I need specifically not yellow. Independent? No. Not summon. It's gonna be the blue material. Where's the fucking blue? Not purple. That's yellow. This is the part that's blue. Support. Here we go. Support. Um, level boost, magnify, warding, synergy, HP absorption. Is that really all of them? I feel like I didn't see it at all. Am I crazy? I have to be crazy. It might be insane. But I thought last week I saw it on a list. Oh well. What's the effect you want? I want it a blue materia where if I attach it to a green materia, whenever I use an attack of the element of the green materia. It will heal the character in question. Like, Firebolt is an ability that Cloud has that is fire and lightning based, where he it puts lightning and fire on his sword. If I attach this blue materia in a link slot to the fire materia, all the fire parts of that attack will also heal Cloud. My brain just wants to be dumb and say, it's be absorption, but it's not. But it's like the closest thing to it. Like if I do this attack, the lightning parts would heal if it was attached to the lightning materia. Even though it's not a lightning spell, it's a lightning attack of any kind. I know it would be a blue materia. And I know that is like the most useless description I could possibly say in the entire world. Keep it together. So it's my turn? Ah, but it's what I've got. <laughs> I think we're almost done. Damn it, Aerith, you weren't supposed to win that fast. Why are you so good? I need you to heal, but I can't heal if you keep killing enemies fast enough to end the battle. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We might actually be in a good spot now to get close to dying without dying. Called HP absorption. Okay. Can you take over what did I think it wasn't? Why am I so like insane today? Oh wait, that's right. I watched a terrifying documentary about the Schneider and the Brian Pack. You'll need to link this material with an elemental spell. Once done, you can cast that spell and have its damage converted into healing. You can find HP absorption material from the following locations. I believe so. Does it not also work with elemental attacks of that kind? It works only if I actually cast Fire, Fyra, and Faraga because that would suck. But that's the closest thing. Is there one in this chapter? Because if so, it's that. 
Because I remember seeing it specifically in, like, Nibble. Bought from Charlie. I think I'm losing my mind. Oh well. Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe it doesn't actually exist. That's the closest thing and it's not that, so... I must just... be a mad woman. I will find it. It's fine. You fucking... Aerith can heal me forever and ever because nothing will happen to her. Nothing will happen to Aerith. Look at me. Nothing will happen to Aerith. I'm in chapter 7. I fully believe that at the end of this game, nothing will happen to Aerith. You still holding up okay? Yeah, feeling great actually. We could do this all day. Good thing I'm in front of you because you're in a skirt. You've become one with the mountain. Say what? Really? I did? Hey! Thanks for having me! Oh my god. Relax. It happens to all the climbers. If she passes out, I'll carry her. Let's go! I've never done real mountain climbing. I have done fucking rock walls. Get ready. Yo, hello, laugh my ass off, Aerith. <laughs> Dude, Aerith is pretty good. Sorry, but she she might be better than Trey for. And now, and now Keyboy goes, You take that back! I'll cut you! I'll fucking kill you! I'm Bibbo, I'll fucking kill you dead! The fastest gun in the Mississippi! Fuck it, I'm so sad at that series is over. There's a YouTube series I only just found that's a weird comedy horror ARG with a CGI character with like the thickest ass possible in human existence. And it's not even a human, he's like a jelly bean. Being tortured by the AI gods. Um. And it is officially cancelled uh, before ending from a Ryan standpoint here, can't go to the reason. She's not better than Tifa for spoilers. Shh. Shh. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> She's still fun. She is my favorite and nothing bad will happen to her. She's my healer and therefore she will keep me alive forever and ever and ever. Day after day after day after day after day, we fly <laughs> the moon and the sun, and we don't know why. Oh god, Palm needs a spirit animal if there's ever been one. No, no, wait. Oh god, I am just Ragatha and Palm needs child. You're dead. All right. Fucking let's go, Red Thirteen. God, they're so good. What's your current party right now, Keyboy? It's Tifa, Yuffie, and Cloud. Cause we can't take Cloud off. So unless I'm misreading, there's four material you can get in this chapter. And Enervation, Empowerment, and Revival. What are Enervation and Empowerment? Brings out John Cena. Are you sure about that? And we've got no 
I have not finished the game, so no clue what happens. Minus Cloud Tifa and Yuffie. Sweet. Listen, only one person in the universe could tell that Red 13 was the, the mystery card player. And his name is John Cena! Oh god, that hurt! <laughs> ah, fuck. Enervation allows you to use physical and magical defense reducing spells. Pairing with warding materia grants resistance to physical and magical defense reduction. Okay, so, uh, barrier. Oh, no, wait. That's D barrier and, uh, D shell. Okay. Cloud. His leg day makes it so he can kick around iron beams. Oh! What? There's a person here now? There's never been a person up here. Power might allows you to use physical and magical attack strength. And okay, so that would be bravery and faith. I tell you, hikers these days ain't got. Well, I'll be. Finally, folks, I started using Kate Sith a bit more and always put him in right up. Tons of folks hiking up the mountain today, and not a one of them so much as nodded my way. Even tried calling out to a few sick looking fellas all in black, and what did I get? Silence. Hey, thanks for telling us about the guys. I guess these days never learned to greet each other or something. BSS, sometimes you remind me of the babe. Is Moog gonna do some broken shit if you use him right? Ooh, I can't wait to see this motherfucker in action. What babe? The babe with the power. Oh, uh, where am I going next? What power? The power of Voodoo. God, there are a lot of materials up here. Who do you do? Do what? Remind me of the babe. <laughs> God, I fucking don't even like that movie! Why did I do that? <laughs> what is wrong with me? Fuck! That movie is good. Okay, boy, I will let you know that I don't like Labyrinth or Dark Crystal, and I have no idea why. Because I like Jim Henson. I grew up on Muppet Babies, the original 90s one. I grew up on Farscape. I, there is something wrong with me. I should like this shit. I mean, God, I like fucking, I like Legend and the Princess Bride. And it's like the same feel as those. And I just, I don't. I know there's something mentally wrong with me. I mean, we all knew there was something mentally wrong with me. It's called Asperger's. But still, there's something else that's wrong with me. Clearly. Thank you for letting me attack these boxes without having to fight you. What the fuck was that? Well, I'm pretty sure the stream caught it. My TV flickered? Um, and it looks like you guys also got the flicker. It was like my TV just decided to have dead cells for a bit. Um, not the video game. Was it paying attention? Ah. Curses, I'm still looking at materialists. That's fine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No! Oh my god, that actually fucking worked! That's it. 
Damn it. The whole point was to have her fucking... Okay. God damn, these crabs are fucking OP. Wait. Previously, physical attacks from the rear inflicting enough damage during subdue will pressure them. What? Come on, Cloud, don't you fucking die on me, you pain in my ass. Awful fight. I'm sorry, Princess, I can't find the material. You're fine. I don't believe it actually exists. Clouds even there are also a good party. That's probably a really good stagger heal party. Oh, I'm fucked. <clears throat> Uh, this is an apology. Oh god, the beetles were annoying in this area. The beetles are always annoying. They're always screaming, help, I need somebody. I'm joking, the beetles are fucking great. That is a cat and a squirrel. That is a, that is a tiny, oh my god! Da 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 Quick squirrel, stab the cat in the glowing blue spot. Then you'll be one sixteenth of the way to getting your girlfriend back and slash or releasing an ancient deity. Depending on who you ask. Dorman was a piece of shit. It's also not a squirrel, it's a sugar glider. It's a fucking... It's Wanderer, okay? <laughs> that cow that cala that cat was a colossus. Hence why I started doing the music. Slash face hugger? Oh god, I wanna know what a cat xenomorph is like. Dog ones already crawl on all fours and are freaky. Always remember that that xenomorphs do take traits from their host that they burst out of. She draw Tifa as well. She did. The Deegan is the best one. Not that we'll ever get anything more from the Deacon, but the Deacon was an awesome xenomorph design. This voiceover, a cat xenomorph wouldn't give a shit. You know what? You're right. It probably just wouldn't do anything. That new one actually looks kind of promising. I am pretty sure the last shot of that, where, uh, I'm not going to watch this now. I did see the squirrel to sleep. Um, but yeah, that, that new alien movie, that final shot where it shows the xenomorph and, you know, the iconic tongue coming out, that looks practical. It's probably not, but it looks like it. And that's the nicest thing I can say about a movie is even with CGI, it looks like practical effects. So 
I have high hopes. I have not seen the, uh, I have not seen Covenant, though. Though, at this point, am I really missing much? For that they are trying to use more practical effects. Oh, fuck yes, this movie is gonna be good. <laughs> Actually, let's be fair. There are... There's a lot of alien-related material, and a vast majority of it does not hold up. So we will see. But I am hopeful. I mean, I liked Prometheus. I just don't like that they never w went anywhere with Prometheus. I want to know more about the engineers slash space jockeys, and Jesus was a space jockey is not a fucking smart idea. Here's me as a cat. It's just going to be the angriest cat. The director behind it has done some good stuff. Okay! Who is the director behind the new Alien movie? <laughs> na na na, I love you. <laughs> I can think of some materials that you would be doing that with. Um, what is it called? Alien Romulus or some shit? Holy shit, how the fuck did I remember the name so well? Direct a Fede Alvarez. Wait, isn't that the guy who did the remake of Evil Dead? Oh, oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh yeah, no, we're in a good spot. Yeah, no, we might we might actually be in a good spot. I haven't seen Don't Breathe. I've heard that I've heard that Don't Breathe is pretty good, except for a former roommate who is a horror fanboy saying that it is an absolute garbage fire of a movie. So probably oh shit, this is new. There was never a boss fight in Nibble. Come on, out you go. And it's again Rude and Elena. Last time, Tifa or Era said something, and... Seriously? Can't avoid it, huh? Well, look who it is. This is... Yeah, this is brand new. You here to Almost like Elena is only in two scenes in the original. Her introduction? And the optional boss fight between all three Turks on the return to Midgar on the train tracks. And so they actually had to flesh out her character because she had no fucking character. Like a fight? What? Oh, <laughs> no. Just dropping off some unruly passengers. They were fine when we left Junon. And then they weren't. So, here we are. Don't know why. Oh, by the way, it's now on performance sharp since they did that update, and I can see it. This is way above my pay grade. So, that's it? Well, since you're here. Not that I had a problem with the graphics originally. But I can see it. You're the boss from She'll be more than happy to keep you company though. This is one of the two elevator bosses that Barrett is supposed to fight in the OG when you're escaping from Midgard the first time. Now it's been moved here? Nice. Yeah, this is the elevator escape from Shinra HQ. Well, it's nice to see that you actually got moved somewhere since you, like, just disappeared forever. <laughs> I can avoid your bullshit. 
And oh my god, you're weak against fucking... A lightning? Shocker. Nobody make a joke about that, goddamn. The modified version of the Valkyrie, a high-speed aerial weapon manufactured by Shinra's Advanced Weaponry Division, has been newly equipped with flamethrowers, allowing it to transform the battlefield into a sea of flames. Inflicting enough damage by exploiting its elemental weakness will pressure it. While it is using cooling protocol, it will become easier. Okay, I think Aerith still has... Arrow on her, so I guess we'll see in two seconds. Hey, Aerith, I'm gonna need you to just, like, real quick, right? You're gonna put Lustrious on yourself. Okay. Did you not? Keep enemies at bay and stop projectiles. Oh, it's a fucking... Okay, that's stupid. I cannot get her fucking thing to stay. Uh-oh, what the hell? Okay, there we go. I want Radiant Ward on her, so that way she can start actually get, uh-oh. Stop attacking her specifically, my dude, goddamn. She needs to be able to heal. Use Thunder when it goes into that mode, that's when you pressure it. I'm trying. Or Arrow. Boss in the elevator escape was that tank thing. This was the boss climbing up the pillar in part one. So here's the thing. Um, there are two boss fights in the original on the elevator. Back to back. That's the fun part. Okay, so now use Arrow and Cloud. You're gonna specifically use Fireball and Red. You're gonna, I don't know, be adorable. I mean, ah. Uh, Yeah. And now Earth is about three, uh, sixty, six, uh, sixty percent of the way to doing, uh, pray again. It's aiming at you. Um, I would like him to not. Okay, now which one of you fuckers has Ramu? I think it's Aerith. Shot. Wait. Why'd I just do that? I could have this entire time been doing the something else entirely. I'm an idiot. Uh oh. Hey. Oh, was that fucking sleep? Right. So business as usual. Pocket. 
I didn't mean to do that. It just kind of happened. Um, Cloud uses Aerith's... Which one have I not done? I've done all of these. Nice. Oh, use Alexander. Did you get him yet? No, because I haven't even gotten out of this area. The other half of the summoning crystals are in the other half of Coast of the Souls region, which are past this. Cloud uses Aerith's magic to release a range attack that raises their limit levels. Cloud air on their uh, temporarily does a thing. Channel their burning anger raises their limits. Let's go with, uh... Fuck it! Oh, 2681. Yeah. We got this. Bye, dickhead. Oh, my God, you canceled out of it. You know what, Aerith? You get to do it. Yeah, Cloud, look fucking cool. Guess the Turks are back on duty, huh? Wish they'd all go on vacation. For real. Come on. We need to find the others. Oh shit, now I'm gonna get the Barrett and Yuffie side of the story, and they're gonna have their own boss fight, aren't they? Same thing happened in the Um The Mines. The next order of business is the Magnus Materia Project. What the fuck does that mean? Black cats are wonderful because you stare into the void and not only does the void stare back, sometimes trots up to you happily and begs for pats. The void is loud and wants chicken. Nice. As you are aware, simultaneous energy spikes were detected in Mako reactors across the world. This is new. After analyzing the data from each site, we found the spikes stemmed from the arrival of visitors. Unfathomably large life forms. Oh, is that a weapon? No fucking. No. No, because. Sephiroth getting the black materia is what releases them. Sir, if you know we're aware, why are you telling us about it? Dude, anime does this all the time. It is specifically because the viewer doesn't know. Based on available information, it would seem so. Oh my they god. supposedly appear when the planet is in danger. And each one carries an enormous orb of materia. That's new. More specifically, an orb from which they themselves were born. That's new. They are living enigmas, organisms dying to be understood. And finally, my dream of capturing one is within reach. That's also a new one entirely. That's not a weapon that was there before. I give to peel one's flesh back, pull it apart, and see what makes it tick. What? Your wish, Professor, will soon be granted. We'll all get what we want once that materia is ours. This, this weapon isn't in the OG. They confirmed yet that this is new. Yeah, so is... The, the weapons being pretty much super summons makes sense, but wasn't a thing in the original. You know what this actually is? This is them trying to set up the proto-materia better because the proto-materia was a fucking dumb idea. 
Why waste time monster hunting when we're on the brink of creating the materia ourselves? I'm aware of your efforts, but it would behoove us to obtain naturally occurring specimens as well. Well, they would look good in the lobby. <laughs> Put them in the bathroom for all I care. Just leave me the carcasses. Those I'll take. Probably something they wanted to do in the OG doodle limitations. What is this really about? If you say the black material, I swear to God. Wu Tai is after them. What? Well, fucking. Fucking Wu. Yuffie. Heidegger, I'll need troops. My finest for the Madam Director. <laughs> Mr. President. Yes. There's a question I never had the chance to ask your father. Perhaps you could speak on his behalf. What is it, Kate? I mean, Reeve? Avalanche's activities as a cover to sabotage our own reactors and destroy Sector 7. Your father assured us these acts were in service to the Neo Midgar project. However, the fact remains that we have yet to locate the promised land of legend or even confirm if it actually exists. Great though he was, my father was old. Look at this Nomura motherfucker. He became rash. But while we're He's got a subject, skirt made out of belts. Ask all of you regarding those decisions. Why is it that none of you even tried to stop him? This really isn't just Kaiba. Kaiba? No. We'll see Kaiba later on. Shinra must change. We must break new ground. Grow stronger, smarter, observe, adapt, expand, control. My father built his empire with your loyal support, and I demand the same. I expect fucking Palmer, you ugly motherfucker. Devoted not only to the company, but to me. I hope he's still the greasy guy with a shotgun that you fight in Rocket Town. But I'm assuming it's actually gonna be a boss battle. Not that it wasn't a boss battle originally, but I'm assuming he's gonna have some type of, like, mech suit or some stupid bullshit. Oh! Oh, okay! We're just. What? Yeah? Let me in. Fucking what? Uh, Zach jumps. Fucking. This is not gonna become a new term, okay? We already had flash forwards and flash sideways with goddamn fucking loss. I will not have Zack scares be a new term. Or Zack cuts or anything like that. No, shut up. No. Yeah. No. No, 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 no. Where is she? Oh my god, don't do this to me. Oh god, don't do this to me. This was supposed to be a palate cleanser day after watching Quiet on Set before stream. I'm going to take her home. What the fuck? Now slow down. <laughs> I've been to your place. Shinra's got it staked out. Not anymore. They have bigger things to worry about. But... And I can't leave her with you. Of course you can. Just look at Cloud. I've been taken care of. No, you haven't. Look at the state you've left her in. You didn't even wipe her face, for goodness sake. I'm sorry. What is happening? 
Your note had me worried, and now that I'm here, I can see that I was right to be concerned. I brought a wheelchair for Aerith. But if Cloud's coming too, you'll just have to carry him. Wait, wait, no, hold on, wait. How does... Is this the same Elmira from Remake or is this a different timeline, Elmira? And if it's the one from Remake... I, like, where were Rufus and all of them just having the fucking meeting? Was that still Junon? Do you really want to mouth off the guy with a sword bigger than your whole body? I don't, I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> I can't tell what timeline is which. I can't tell how many timelines there are. I can do that much. That's Aerith's, uh. It's not clear anymore. Yes, it's back to normal. I know. So confirmed, two white materials. Huh? Or was the one... Wait, hold on. Was the one on playable Aerith or the one on this Aerith, the clear one? I don't even know anymore. How many fucking white materials are there? How many black materials are there? You okay? You're okay. Right, Aerith? A version of her had to die so that another had to could live. That's my only idea. Is that one dies so another lives. So we can break time. Like, we kind of broke time at the end of last game, but this time we're gonna fucking destroy it. Yes. What happened to this place? The world's ending. At least, that's what everyone's saying. And the flower falls apart. What in the fuck?! Like, you understand that was the crack in time from Doctor Who, right? Like, that is the exact shape, I'm pretty sure, of the crack in time from Matt Smith's run. What is happening? And we couldn't see that when we were at home. Hey, which way do you think Midgar is? It would be east of here. that way I wonder how my mom's doing back there There's two timelines there has to be Maybe a little worried Cuz why can't we see the crack Talk to her as soon as you get home She'll understand Really looking forward to that conversation I am so I am so fucking confused, guys. There's nothing in me anymore. I need to see the materia and I can't see it in the bow. It's just concealed in the giant bow. <laughs> I just I've got nothing. <laughs> I'm speechless. In a good way. Over here! Hey, we don't have to do your side of everything? Recon unit Captain Kisaragi is what that just said. In the top left corner. Great. Sorry we're late. You okay? Yep. 
Really worked up a sweat. So, how'd recon go? All clear. No nasty surprises and no materia. Bullshit, no nasty surprises. I just fought a bunch of monsters and a giant robot. You suck at your job. Have to catch her before she can get as far as the reactor. Which is the whole reason we're here. So hurry it up, or those hooded guys will beat us to it. I'm just, I'm trying to think what possibly happens after this. UV and Earth. Perfect. That's what I want. Like, let's, let's think about this real quick. I'm going to look east. That is, yeah, that way. And even though I can't see Midgar, I'm pretty sure I'd be able to see a giant crack in space-time, but there is nothing there! Oh! Oh, wow! Okay, Performance Sharp, if you look like this, I want to know what the fuck 4K looks like. I don't. This looks fine to me. Wow. Fucking wow. Big fuck off weapon eats red. That's what happens next. Don't say that. I want my puppy to survive. Or kitty. I don't even know what the fuck Red 13 is, but he's perfect in every way, and you do not hurt him. Fucking hell, look at all that live stream. Hey, so what's the deal with all these creepy hooded guys anyway? They're shinless victims. Swim in the goop, we'll get there. We have to get to Medeal for that. And our cloud has to be in a wheelchair having like an, an identity dissociative attack. Throw the hooded man into the goop. That's how you get geostigma, and we don't want that. And when the dust settled, they forced some BS truce on us. I thought both sides wanted to cease fire. Is Aerith wearing tights? I don't think so. Geezers at the top did, yeah. But the rest of us were pissed. They'd been running Wu Tai into the ground for years. It was the last straw. We were done. Everyone was ready to kick those old farts to the curb. And that's when Colonel Lodbrock's team showed up. Three ex soldiers ready to join the cause. What? Who'd you say? Lodbrock! His squad saved Wu Tai from those senile old fossils. Take the way forward. And then he died by they Rufus. Alone, and now he's Colonel hanging out with running. Rufus. Their friend Viceroy Saruf agreed to help. Then, bam! Revolution! And that is how the interim government was born. Revolution, huh? Y'all did good. Nurse legs are very pale. Oh yeah, no, she but why the interim? BSS, they live in Midgar. There's no sun. Because once this war with Shinra's behind us, the whole country's gonna you come feast together and decide like what kind Earth of government we want. Artifa is kind of pale because to make sure the interim ends she at least lived in Nibelheim. Cool, right? Yuffie's good because she lives in Wu Tai and that's all nature fucked up. But the sun's there, I can see it in this cutscene. I mean, like, you live a certain way the majority of your life and it kind of does stuff to your skin. Like, I was pale for a long time because I never went outside. Or I used to be actual, like, normal person, and now I'm a... Let's rephrase that. I'm a red bitch. Parts of me are red, and that's because I, you know, in front of super hot machines eight hours a day. Hey, come look at this. Goddamn Mulder. God, why would you stand so close? Oh, yeah, Yuffie's now pale. All that stuff down there is Mako? 
Yep. Skin color is hard. Then it's got to be hiding some ginormous materia. Oh, I'm going to be so powerful it's scary. Yuffie, only clouds allowed to submerge in the pool. Swim in the goop, don't swim in the goop. What in the fuck? This is... Okay, are we now just confirming that the Emerald Weapon's other eyes that shoot the beams are Materia? And the giant red thing on Ultima Weapon is a Materia? And Diamond Weapon hit the giant thing is a Materia? Oh my god, this makes so much sense. No, shut the fuck up. I need to look up a ruby weapon. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's even on him! It's more prominent in the 14 version. Oh my fucking god. They never bring up Materia being the basis for weapons in the original, but it's been there in plain fucking sight. It has always been there. Oh, holy shit. Only to appear when the planet is in grave danger. I mean, guess his name is either Pearl or Aquamarine. Oh, them for years. Did you see what was Bismantine. That had to have been the biggest freaking materia ever. Because we've had. Let's think about this. We had Omega, which doesn't count. Ultimate, which doesn't count. Diamond, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. But that's only because Emerald got fan named. Though it was very fucking obvious, obvious that that was Emerald. Jade, which is in Before Crisis. You're saying Aquamarine or Pearl. I'm going to say it's Bismantine. It's probably... You're probably it's right with Pearl. It makes the most sense. Guardian of the planet. Whatever. I'm not about to let a materia that beautiful get away. And just so we're clear, it's mine. I call it. What is she staring? <laughs> is she looking at the camera? We'll keep moving. Hey, not cool. This isn't goodbye, sweet weapon. I'll be back for you soon. <laughs> Damn it, Yuffie. Swim in the goop. Don't God, swim in the goop. Like that. Wouldn't show up unless Jinra had really pushed the planet to the edge. Or it's Sephiroth. Meaning, Avalanche was right about the threat they posed all along. We were, weren't we? Yeah. But don't forget, Shinra's not the only problem. Right. Sephiroth is still out there. <laughs> you pussy. Listen, Tifa and Cloud will fall into it in Medeal, and we'll see how well that works in the next game. Okay, stop freaking out, or I'll switch to something else, because I will play over Unicorn Overlord or Hi-Fi Rush. They're both very good games. This is clearly going to probably win Game of the Year so far, but Unicorn Overlord deserves some awards. I don't know what. It's probably going to get nothing. But I'm hoping he gets nominations at the very least. Vanilla Wirt deserves that much. We're going down. We're going towards the goop. Are you happy? I avoided the goop. Fast travel is now available. Oh, hallelujah. 
Now we can go back to doing side quests. How far am I in this chapter? F fucking how? How big is this fucking chapter? Fucking madness how big this game is. We're 30 plus chapters in it and I'm only in Coast of Dissol. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> no, he means fuck. You can't say fucking school, fucking fat ass. Why the fuck not? Cartman. Why is there a giant gear in the <laughs> to the mountain? Who built that? Who put that there? Ugh, dead end. Also, I saw a head in the mountain. We lower it. Well, this sucks. What's back there? Doesn't fucking hurt anybody. Fuck, fucking fuck, fuck, fuck. You know this area, don't you? up there at the top of the cliff how do we reach it through the mine won't be a walk in the park though place has been a bad through the years. pines through the pines where the sun don't ever shine holy shit <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> okay cloud cloud Stop listening to that Sephiroth. He's a hunk, but you can't listen. Perhaps the Mako got to him. Regardless, he's clearly tired. Cloud could rest here while a couple of us go and lower the bridge, yeah? Works for me. When that thing rings, you know we're done. And you don't move till you're good and ready. All right, put on your mining helmets and follow me. Clouds out. Ah, oh, shit. Are you serious? Oh my god, really? Oh, oh lord. Um. Yeah. Okay. Um, don't have any weapon for you. You're all done, and you. I want to get to that, but what do you have on? Lightning. Tifa, you have lightning as well. Jesus Christ. Yuffie, you have... Somebody needs fucking healing, okay? Fuck this shit. You don't need anything. You're gonna do it. Yes. And now we have to set that weapon core. Oh, uh, increases weapon ability damage by five. Yeah. Yuffie's theme? Wait, really? Oh, it's not, is it? Yeah? Huh. Alright, Yuffie. We're gonna do something sacrilegious with you. Are you ready? We're gonna sell all of the materia we possibly have in our inventory. <laughs> Oh, it is. Well, shit. And hey, there are enemies here. So, Kibli has told me that, uh, at the 
end of the game, you do unlock the ability to switch your main party member. So Cloud doesn't always have to be the person as the party leader. And all I can think is, man, what's Red 13 gonna look like petting the baby chocobos at the chocobo stops? Or Kate Sith po petting the chocobos. So that's gonna be funny as shit. Ice! It's all ice! God damn it, Barrett. Stop being a fucking dork, you adorable son of a bitch. Why are you such a dork? So these guys are gonna have a boss, right? Just now thinking about that. that there's probably gonna be a boss. Which way? With that thing. But... We're gonna have to power it on first. Cool. I can do that. Pick up the thing. Thank you. Put this ninja girl entering lurking mode. Let me pay the cute kitty tax. Okay, what do we have for the cute kitty tax? That is a uh, that is a cat in a box. There is another cat. Battle for the box, huh? <laughs> that other cat can't even fucking see. He's <laughs> choke choke. Chocobo, uh, do, I'm a cho you, What the fuck is this? <laughs> you're, you're a chocobo, I'm a chocobo, you're a chocobo, I'm a chocobo, you're a chocobo, I'm a chocobo, you're a chocobo, I'm a chocobo. You're a kid now, you're a squid now. You're a kid, you're a squid, you're a kid, you're a squid. <laughs> To reach destinations inaccessible by walking or climbing, press L2 to hook onto an object and swing through the air with the greatest of ease. Uh, I'm gonna fly through the air with the greatest of ease. Gonna get someone up, bunching up, punching up some TVs. <laughs> Bitch, please put your ass on disability. I'll pay him smack a head. Ability. Wait, I gotta turn it around. We gotta pound bot Nick and pat his ass to the crowd. Now I'm coming for you, and we're going straight through. Right to your HQ. I got my in blue, and he's fast too. Man, I told you, get drunk a Sonic and fuck up Robotnik. <laughs> I have a problem. Twin Viper, okay. Let's see what that one is, shall we? Your MC Phoebe. I was thinking of becoming a New Yorker rapper back in high school named MCP, cause huge fucking fan of uh Ew! What the hell? It's the most damage, but it only has one slot for like anything? Creates a gust of wind that damages nearby enemies and launches them towards you. That was her kit inside of... Intergrade. But I mean, I, I can always go back and it doesn't unequip materia. 49, 41. Yeah, we're gonna go back after a point, but we are gonna check what the hell these are. This counts as a dungeon? Oh dear god. Fire damage, but up. Keep the throwing star aloft for 25 more seconds. Jesus!
Hmm, does ninjutsu count as a basic attack? Let's go full elemental and see what happens. It'll give ninjutsu a little bit more bang for its buck. This is not how gravity... Okay. I just accept that that happened. Look, I can get this down super fast. I'm already at 40%. Everything will work out. What the hell? Oh. Ladder. Leather theme is mixed in with the area's theme? That's what a lot of the themes so far have been. Wait, does Kate Seven have a theme? Is his mixed with Mig with with a gold saucer? Holy shit, is that a thing that'll happen later? Because I would not mind. So what am I supposed to go is the question. I to unlock this thing from the control unit upstairs. Can you? Uh, if I have to. Oh god, I'm so lazy. Why are you guys so bad? Actually, we're, we're, we want to kill these enemies beforehand. Something's over here. Oh! War is just done already. God damn, why is Yuffie so fucking OP? What the hell? I can now officially tell my roommate, yeah, fucking Yuffie's just too good for this world. His theme is so good, I can't wait until you hear it. Almost though at the gold saucer. I'm almost at the saucer? Am I gonna be there within this? W will I get to the gold saucer by the end of this stream? Super important question. I don't understand where to go at first. That's the gold saucer! Be at the pace I'm at, in the next two and a half hours, will I see the interior of the gold saucer? There's a vital question. Because you understand that the next stream might only be Gold Saucer. Not for plot reasons, but for just side shit. You probably will get just before the Gold Saucer. Fuck me, I have to speed this up. Okay. Um, uh, how do I get... How do I get to the thing? How do I get there? Here we are. Oh, this is ridiculous. No. How? I feel like I'm playing 2008, 2010 Prince of Persia again for some reason. And I love that game. It's just after you get the North Coral Barrett hometown. I figured I was near it. I'm not even close, am I? Power of his promise. 
Fuck me when she does it. Everybody goddamn does it. I don't want to operate the elevator first. I want to get... I don't even know what I want at this point. <laughs> I want the chest that's over to the left of me. On the giant zip line. Like, I want that. So I can see what that is. But I'm assuming... Yeah, that is plot. So this will bring me up further. If you can get through this dungeon quick, then you should be able to. It only took me a while because I got lost a few times. Okay. None of these characters are... <laughs> All these enemies were kicking Cloud's ass. Now I'm playing as Yuffie and they're just getting almost one-shotted. It's kind of sad. I feel bad for them. Oh, here we go. This is what I wanted. Wait, but that means this is the right direction. All the arrows are telling me so. So I need to see what's over on. But... Fuck. What's option B? Oh! That's option B. A boss fountain. The most overt boss fountain I've ever seen in my entire life. So what the hell am I about to fight? Because... <laughs> Chest up there, I think. Wait, what? There How do I even get up there? There's no... You know what? I don't care enough. I'll be the next one. Oh no, just boxes? I don't believe that. If it's actually just bosses, I'll be mildly surprised. That's when you know there's a boss coming up. Yeah, it's called the Boss Fountain. That's why I'm just wondering. Th there has to be. I mean, I see something. Oh, I see the bad shit. Also, I keep forgetting that Barrett needs to, uh... I have to start using his shit. problem with health. Stupid crab monsters and the like. Or there could be a bench right fucking there. That also works. Yeah, or that could just be a fucking thing right there. 
it was all just boxes. <laughs> the bosses, the boxes were the boss. It had so much health. I was able to cut off all the parts of it. That killed it. Um, Paul, Paul doesn't do anything. Paul doesn't do anything. Box. More box. That, that's a... Okay. Hey, just to let you know, that's what I call a boss. Okay. Just, just a tire. <laughs> like that, that is. Okay, maybe it's not. How is it that? Hello! I'm um, gonna use this ass on you because I've never seen anything like you before. You make the fire, blocking the melee attacks or will pressure them, evading swoop or cock a doodle kick. Shut up. We'll pressure them for a longer period of time. Okay. There we go. Master the fucking shot. Okay, Barrett, you're gonna switch to a different weapon now. It's gonna be the high caliber. Fuck yeah, let's go. Fires 20 bullets for that thing. Um. Now. Uh, increases overcharge reload when staggering enemies. Increases magic attack. Fuck that. It makes it harder to be interrupted while using overcharge. Fuck that. Increases synergy skill and synergy ability damage by 10. Sure. That's not exactly what I wanted, but I'll take those two. The similar ability that Tifa gets that's similar to Unbridled Strength later. Just got it a bit ago. Uh, it's Gwen's back to back. I it's later. That's one big cock. You really had to do it, didn't you? you? You really had to go there, huh? Couldn't leave well enough alone. Why did you do it? Just to see us suffer. Do we not suffer enough? Is life truly not suffering enough? The bird? I understand. I'm just saying it how I think. It was a truly marvelous cock at the very least. A truly, truly marvelous cock. Someone even say it is probably the biggest cock that they've ever seen. Hello, I'm the doctor. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm just losing my mind slowly, but holy shit, seriously. Well, this is gonna be a stairway and a half. Is it worth it? Holy shit. Okay, uh... Yellow swag. Thank you. 
Okay, Cla- uh, Barrett. Fuck it, that's your name. Well, you're open with unique bullets that increase stagger and power for your attacks. Okay. Can I work this with focus shot? That's not what I wanted. I wanted maximum fury, I think that's what it's called. The one that just unloads a shit ton of bullets. I wanted to know if I could mix that with bonus rounds to make it like some stupid bullshit. Alright, there is a lot going on in this dungeon. Odin killed me like six times, by the way. I haven't been able to get him yet. I'm sorry. Oh, this is for a weapon. What is this? Something I can use? I fucking- I don't even have the fucking other one finished yet! Uh, what is it? <sighs> Temporarily increases the HP and take damage intended for other party members. Uh, Every artillery firearm equipped with multiple barrels for maximum lethality. I want to see what its basic attack looks like. Cause I assume they're all relatively different-ish range or other amounts of things. Come on. There we go. Uh, oh, this is not what they want me to do. Oh, yes it is. I will slowly edge this thing closer to victory. There we go. Ridiculous what this game asks you to do, and I love it. Now this is just a shortcut back up, isn't it? How do I get back? Oh. Dumb question, never mind. Alright, so I've done everything down here. I could take the stairs. Did I miss anything on the stairs? Probably not. Yes, I did. That does that. What's option B? Get all of that for these poles. Because it activated both poles. Got it. Um, don't need the other item that's in there, more than likely. And I killed you already. Went up there already. Except not really. I didn't actually do this yet. Swim time? No, because I can tell that the poles are the next thing I'm supposed to do, so... I'm just going to do this real quick.
This is not what I wanted, by the way. I wanted all of those. Go back. I want to be on that bridge. The tracks. I want to hit those. But I don't think I can. Like up here. Oh, never mind. That's what I thought. I don't want to take the zip line because it's going to bring me to that cockatrice. Actually, this pole, if it brings me, or sorry, this pole, if it brings me up, should maybe bring me to that train track bridge that I want to go to. Man, back in the day, this used to look like a fucking, um, this used to look like a roller coaster. And it's supposed to be trains and carts. And that's funny. Oh, Diva gained a level. No idea why. Hopefully this works the way I want it to. Nope. I really thought it would actually do what I thought it was going to do. And it was going to specifically use the bullets for my basic attack. Maximum Fury does not work like that, and that is depressing. Uh, wow, this is not the way to the... To what I thought it was going towards. I... I'm not sure how that shit works then. What the hell? Please be correct. Damn it. Well, you see, Yuffie, because you're the youngest, everybody has done all the work so far for about 30 fucking chapters. Wait, what am I supposed to be doing? What? Oh! This turn. Oh, it lifts. Can I kick these? Fuck yes! Lower, do something, anything, where am I going? There we go. This is so dumb and I love it! I feel like I'm on fucking like Legends of the Hidden Temple. At least nothing bad happened on the Nickelodeon game shows. Do I kick the fucking switch? No, I don't. That'd be silly.
Holy shit, you do! This game is ridiculous, and I love it so much. Ha Wait, what? That jump doesn't make sense. I hit a bad point. I should not be here. Ignore me, bomb. Okay, now I can deal with you. Maybe. I'm hoping. God help me. Uh... Ice. Wait, what? If we're enough damage while they are breathing, fire will pressure them. When their HP gets low, they will enter the explosion imminent stay in self-destructive attacked. Okay. Okay. And at least he's next to a match. It still blows my mind. <laughs> Bombs are evil. Always hated these enemies. Now they're fine here. They're super easy in uh, Strange as a Paradise from what I've played so far. Like, they're the, they're the easiest in Strange as a Paradise. Because you just throw three of their fi own fireballs back at them and it's an instant kill. And you get the experience for them doing their self destruct. It just works. It's great. It just blows my mind that when I have fast travel and can go to any city, that's when I need to use cushions at, uh, at benches. And meanwhile, in dungeons, it's free. So cushions have no meaning. Well, you get why they wanted to add them. It's the new version of the, uh, the tent or the sleeping bag, but there's really no point to it anymore. Huh? <gasps> Babies! But who called that there would be a boss fountain? I told you that was a boss fountain. The boss just didn't come until later. We're not going to hurt your babies. Oh, wait, those are chocobo babes. We have to help them. That Oh my god, that's going to be a fucking cuckoo. Way ahead of you. Hey, over here, bird brain. Pick on some of your own size. You good? Kuka? Gigatris, what? <laughs> Holy shit. An avian creature that nests on Mount Coral. Oh shit, it's me against Bio. Um, I'm kind of half tempted to just reload and give one of these fuckers Bio that's on Red 13 right now. Navy and creature that nests on Mount Coral. Exposure to Mako has mutated beyond all recognition. It loves to feed on soft, newly born chicks. Good lord! It needs something bigger than that to fucking feed that body. It will not allow anything to come between it and its favorite snacks. Inflicting enough damage while it is in the air will pressure and force it to descend. Using elemental magic on the cyclones it conjures will imbue them with elemental energy. It will become pressured if hit by one of these enhanced cyclones. That was not that much damage, sir. How much health do you- Oh. I don't know what to do here. Fuck it, holy shit. Just 
just stay away from it, Barrett. Who also has assess materia, turns out. Um, let's suppose do you have thunder? Deep protect and cure. You know what? Barrett, let's see if Maximum Fury does anything good here. <laughs> nope! I should have put Bio on somebody. Maybe I can throw a Poison Bomb. Maybe I have one of those. God damn it! I don't think I can. Kind of want to restart just to see. Uh, use it on staggered foes to increase potency and extend stagger. Oh, that's Tifa with two. Tifa has two. Yuffie needs three. Yuffie has three. Why can't I use... Wait, yeah, three and two. Which they have. So what the fuck? Uh... Barrett, hopefully you have something good. <laughs> Magic on the tornadoes? I assumed it was fire. It doesn't have to be fire. Oh, I'm missing one! Fuck me, that's what it is! There we go. He's on stagger enemies, but I don't have the ability to stagger yet that I can tell. Okay, what spells does she have for you protect? Tifa, I'm gonna need you to like get a little bit better here. Okay. Now spell on the where the fuck is the tornado? <laughs> Oh shit, okay. Um, okay, real quick, first of all. Let's see if I actually have something that poisons and deals 50. Poison, there we go. It's weak against poison. Use it. There we go. Um, 
I need something that heals petrification. Shit. Tifa, you. Tifa, your job. Is to use a spell on a... How the fuck does this work? <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, it actually lose a, sh a good amount against uh, tornadoes. Or from bio. It loses a lot from bio. It mentions it's cyclone tornadoes? Okay. I'm just, I'm trying to figure this out. Trying to figure us bot boss out on so like having people die. That's the problem. Come on, get fucked, you giant goddamn bird of death. I know my commentary is bad and I don't give a shit. Right now I'm just trying to kill this goddamn thing. Before it does something crazy. Like whatever the hell this is. Like whatever the fuck that was. Oh, your Aqua doesn't even do that much damage. Holy shit. Did you just get staggered already? Thank you. Now, finally, get fucked. Barrett, your job. You know what your job is. Hey, uh, Yuffie, you want to use your limit? Get fucked, asshole. That boss sucked. I should have had bio and fire on. I don't think fire, the thunder did anything to the cyclone. I think it has to be fire. Look at these baby chicks, though. It's a flying chocobo! What the? Look! It's Saz! Again! Hey. Confirmation! Every black man in a Final Fantasy game needs a baby chocobo and guns. Don't know why, but this is two for two. Maybe this one will turn into a hot girl as well. <laughs> hey, hey, check out its head. Does it remind you of anyone? <laughs> it's Cloud. It's Cloud, only cute. <laughs> oh, Tifa. Okay, fuck you. We're doing Eric. Here by Dubby Cloud Jr. We 
we can take that mine cart down. Save ourselves a hike. Yay! Not the we did it. Ride, but it sure is fast. Me and Dine used to. Oh, Barrett, you want to open up? About Marlene's dad? Forget it. Let's just lower the bridge and get back to the others. Oh no, please, Barrett, tell us more. Tell us more about how you lost your arm. Alright. Do I just have a baby check now? Oh my god, it just follows Barrett. I have a baby chick. And... <laughs> and... Please let me open this. Fuck yeah, free heal. So, Barrett, you're good currently with your weapon, right? Perfect. We're going to switch you to one more, buddy. And now we'll do the minecart thing. Cloud Junior. Okay, one of these buttons ought to do it. Uh, which one? Yeah, Always go with the green one. The big one. First dad. Then. It's almost like I've been here before. <laughs> so this baby chocobo is actually gonna follow me, huh? Touch base with the others. Roger. Oh my god, it's even called the PHS. Hello, hello. It's just the cell phone from the original that was the party system. That's awesome. Barrett. Do I actually get to decide what their route is? No, of course not. Alright, well, you're gonna give me back my fucking materia. That's for damn sure. So how far am I in this chapter now? Holy shit! There's so much here! Why is there so much in this game? Why is Mount Nibble like a 10 hour fiasco? And this is actually the part that I remember. That's the best part is that it being a fucking roller coaster ride, this is it. We finally hit the part. Oh my god, I was like. Wow, this actually is what the original was in its entirety. Does Lever just select which route your companions will take currently set to Barrett's preferred route? Oh. Fuck. Me. These tracks seem about ready to fall apart. I have a feeling we'll hold for a while yet. We do? 
Do I have to ride it? Are there missables on either side? Oh, Barrett, you're getting the full treatment. I'm sorry, buddy. I just think he should be the one that wins. <laughs> that looks so crazy. It's fine. It's fine. It's just like the original. Everything will go well. We're just here to ruin Yuffie's life for being a pain in the ass and screwing up our attempts with Rufus. It's also going to, like, avoid every single box, and I should probably want the boxes. Because <laughs> it's just going to be more items, and I'm now realizing that. This looks like a spot. Let's go on up. Tell we're here. Wait, were there no others? Oh no, it was just the one. Okay. Well, that's... easy to do, I guess. Might see the gold saucer a little closer soon? Okay. I mean, I should be on top of it now, honestly. Cloud! What's our route looking like? Do what I could. Should be fine. Are you sure? Yeah, Yuffie! <laughs> you should be fine! <laughs> Thanks for that. Sit tight. We'll be down soon. Only way out is through. So buckle up, buttercup. We're such assholes. And this is 100% deserved for being a giant pain in my ass. All right, Yuffie, you ready for a uh, look up? Okay, okay, give me a second. Um, I do not see a gold saucer yet, but it should be left a bit more. It should be directly behind that mountain. Hell, it should be above the mountain, unless the gold saucer is not as big as I think it is. Okay, after this, look. Okay, okay, fine, 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 fine. God. All right, Yuffie. It's just a card. I can't kill you. I feel really bad now. No, I don't. Oh my god, this Chocobo is actually fucking coming with me! He's just Saz! Yuffie, don't worry. Nothing bad will possibly happen. It's all okay. Help if you keep her mind off her motion sickness. Oh my god. By shooting boxes as the minecart races to the bottom of the mountain, the more boxes you destroy, the higher your score. <laughs> Don't worry, Yuffie, it's fine! Yuffie, everything will be a-okay! What could possibly happen? 
Ah, uh, we're gonna die down here, Yuffie. It's all your fault. Ha 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 ha. This is gonna be fun when we get to the big part. I didn't do this route. Oh, is this different? All right, Yuffie. Are you ready? Oh shit! Yuffie, you've got this! See? You got an X potion for us! Aren't you so good at your job? <laughs> God, she's probably fucking losing her mind right now. This is Thunder Mountain. This is all it is, it's just Thunder Mountain. Big Rock Cannon Mountain. God, even listen to the music. Oh, we're at the part. All right, Yuffie. You're gonna hate me. Say goodbye to your maker. Awesome. Love it. <laughs> Love to see it. Don't worry, Yuffie. Wasn't that fun? Wasn't it great? Don't do it. I almost did it earlier, Yuffie. I understand, but that's because I was watching a documentary about Nickelodeon. Okay. I'm pretty sure my relationship with Yuffie just changed for the worse. Cloud, you're so gonna pay for this. Did I get anything for Barrett? <laughs> Fuck yes! <laughs> I think it was a memorable experience. Still alive. Miraculously, yeah. <gasps> Look, we got a baby! How long do we keep the chocobo? Wait a sec. Do we actually keep the chocobo? Uncanny. I know, right? <laughs> Meet Cloud Junior. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Junior. There's no way we keep the chocobo, right? Kill me. <laughs> we, took, we gotta keep this fucking bird. Uh oh. <gasps> no! No, let me keep! Cloud Junior, come back! No! Like Scoop! I'm taking my baby! Yes, I saw the gold saucer in the shot. <laughs> Your long lost brother. It is it is as big as I needed it to be. Ha huh. fuck yeah. Barrett, are you happy? Yuffie, how are you feel <laughs> Yuffie fucking hates me? <laughs> so I'm close to Aerith and Yuffie or sorry, Aerith and Tifa. I'm Halfway there with Barrett and Red. Okay. Don't worry. You'll see Cloud Jr. again? Yes. Your homecoming? You'll see. I mean, people still live here. They did in the original. I don't know why in the hell you would live here, but... It's whatever. 
Hello, everyone. Do not treat him like an asshole. The great Sir Wallace has graced us with his presence. She hates me? Good. I hope she liked the roller coaster ride. Surprised you had the balls to come back, but we're so glad you did. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Oh, that frame rate was awful. I'm gonna accept 30, that was 10. <laughs> Leave him alone! Don't. What? This isn't gonna be good? Oh no. Whatever. Let's go. Let's just get out of here as fast as we can. <laughs> Yuffie! <laughs> you fucking baby. Stay far away from that asshole. Is that job Wilson? Yes, I do hear the music. Oh my god, seriously! <sighs> Alright, it, it's time for whatever the hell North Coral's lovely queen's blood shit is. I'm sorry, what the fuck? I'm sorry, what the fuck? Hello, sir! You require more training if you hope to face me. What? Fucking what? How is that man floating? Does Queen's blood give you the ability to float? What is... What is happening there? Should I be worried? I just- oh, those kids for a second. But okay, they're all good now. Why is he calling Wicked? What is happening with this fucking game? Wait, are you guys part of my regional bullshit? Hello? <coughs> yes, it isn't very easy. I wouldn't play their kids. It isn't very safe. Okay, yeah. You know, it is. It is not. Tell me, get rich quick scheme blow up in your face again? Oh, shut the fuck up, dude. Town, huh? Don't let him talk to you like that. I can take it. Cloud just sliced their fucking head. I just trust you ain't cut. Just window shopping. I don't know, maybe. Do you have any actual weapons for me, or is it all shit that I already own? Oh, it's shit I already own. I'm sorry. Oh, you have. You have one card pack? I guess I could buy that. Bye. But asshole, Welcome. fuck you. I'll see see what else you have. Yes. Sir, I would like I own four of them. Why am I not wearing them? Never mind, sir. I don't have to buy a single thing from you, you stupid ass motherfucker. I need an abyssal. I trust you ain't just window I'm not window shopping. Shut the fuck up, dickhead. I'm going to buy specifically two more abyssals so that way I can equip them to everybody and have lovely stats for every single person. Wouldn't that be nice? 
Wrong button, Phoebe. God damn, you did it twice in a row. See, there we go. Now, book person. Hurry it up, would ya? Wow! You know what? No, I don't want any folios. Fuck you. Where are your goddamn people for fucking Queen's blood? I was told that there were challengers. Are you all a bunch of pussies? I was promised challengers and all I see is a bunch of bitch ass motherfuckers. Oh, I'm sorry. It should show somebody. Okay, never mind. It doesn't want me to play. Fuck it. I don't care. And the green material I saw over there? Don't care either. Fuck you all. Shut up. Get the hell out of here. You sure you're okay with this? Yeah. She a new wife? Well, good for you. Glad someone got their happy ending. Sorry, Tifa. Just ignore them. This place is nothing like it was. Was it something I said? Or are we? You are all assholes. Hey, guys, you mind if I pop in for a minute? There's someone I want to see. What do you, wait? No, 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 no. There's someone in this town that she knows. That's new. Gold saucer, gold saucer, gold saucer, gold saucer. Take me, please, please take me. This is all I wanted more. Take me with you, God. Please, take me. I <laughs> just. I just want to go. It's not fair. Makes me feel safe. When I got hurt back in Nibelheim, they brought me to this clinic. The doctor here, Sharon, he's the one. Shut who the fuck up, dude! Fuck you. Uh, what the fuck did I do? You're telling me Doc Sharon's the one who fixed you up? Come on. Well, you did a good jog, man. I mean, I can't even tell if there's a scar. All right, where is this? Uh oh, I'm about to do something bad. Do not be deceived. You know the truth. Trust in me. Sephiroth. <laughs> Glad stop, please. No, God. Be patient soon. Ah, cause it's a doctor, so there are patients. Hi, ha ha ha. The hell's gotten into you, man. What's going on? <gasps> Wallace. Doctor Sheeran. This is the guy. This is the guy in Medeal, isn't it? That that's the man when Cloud's in a wheelchair with his dissociative identity disorder and falling into the the fucking goop. What what BSS wants? It's it's been a while. <laughs> Certainly has. <laughs> that's one frightening looking appendage you got there. But hey, at least you still seem to have your health. Yeah, and you too. Oh, I'm feeling the miles, but the work keeps me trucking. I tell you what, though. Do you remember me? Well, of course I do, Tifa. It hasn't been that long. You heal up all... Keyboy, who was this person's voice actor? I need you to look that up for me. Right? I did, yeah. I just wanted to drop by and say thank you. If it wasn't I know that voice. I doubt I'd be standing here today. I think I know that voice. Oh, thank me. Thank Lady Luck and Shinra for that helicopter. I'm sorry. Shinra? I know you might find it hard to believe, but not all the apples in that bunch are rotten. But seriously, you're living proof of the good in people. Don't ever forget that. 
It'd be a pity to let their kindness go to waste. No, please do. Kill everybody in Shinra. Except for Reeve. Keep Reeve alive. Besides, you need to set a good example for your friends here. Including that burning dog. Oh, right. Well, I gotcha. Mind helping me out? Need I'll look it up. Okay, thank blood. you. You think you can hold him still for me? Oh, God, he's gonna get samples of Genova cells. At first, I thought it was just Mako poisoning. It is until I ran some tests. The results were strange. Strange how? A substance turned up. One I've never seen before. Genova. I'm not sure what to make of it yet, but it did remind me of one I have seen. Your eyes. Soldier, right? X soldier. It's not a job, son. Once a soldier, always a soldier. Huh. Spare a drop? No. <sighs> I ask, because I suspect there's soldiers suffering from cellular degradation. Just a theory for now. And one I can't prove, not without a lot more testing. You see many of these guys come through? Yeah, and then some. I do what I can for the injured ones, but leave the rest to stumble onto the saucer. Why would you let them into the saucer? Shit. Don't ask me. I think it's odd too. There were none in the saucer originally, were there? Am I crazy? Ain't that something? The girl I saved coming back here with Barrett of all people. I'm sure there's some kind of cosmic significance to that. But hell if I know what it is. <laughs> oh, well, you know, there's actually, like, these things called whispers, and they're keeping ta track of the timeline, and that would be your cosmic consistency, but we like to just fuck these whispers up a lot. So. Yes, Yuffie. Tuck mentioned the gold saucer, right? As in the amusement park, where every day is a holiday? That's right, which is why I spend most of my time there. Lloyd Scherr? The boy, the, that's the VA for Doc, right? Okay, let's see what this guy is. Lloyd Scherr, American voice actor. Plays Fillmore and Cars 2 and 3, taking the role of George Carlin. Oh, okay, well... What else has he been in? I have seen no movie that he's in. He is in... Archer? Star vs. the Forces of Evil? I feel like I'm not going to know him from anything. Let's see video games. Video games might be a better choice for this guy. To find out who he is. Because I know I've heard the Doctor before. Legendary. Wow, that's a game I haven't thought of in forever. The Pandora's Box. First person shooter. Holy shit. I... I don't know this guy. Oh, wait, no, he's in Revenge of the Nerds. I might know him from Revenge of the Nerds. We're going right? I mean, we have to. Yuffie, this isn't a vacation. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. Weird mumbling guys, got it. Oh, man, this is going to be so much fun. Town's got a ropeway that'll take us straight there. It's not far. If we're doing this, let's just do it. Okay. Gold saucer? Gold saucer? Gold saucer, gold saucer, gold saucer, gold saucer. Downstairs area. Wait, no. Upstairs. Or, yep. Same area. Just different place. Okay. South entrance. Okay. What do we have here? A board. Some people. To face. No, no, it's fine. Gold saucer is important, but yes. I didn't even read it. I didn't even think to read it. 
One of the robed fellows I've been looking after has been abducted. Whatever damn fool that did it left behind a note demanding money, but I'm in no position to pay. There's no telling what will happen to the man if I don't, though, so if someone out there is willing to track down and rescue the poor bastard, you'd be doing both of us a favor. Well, first of all, card, card, music. Guys, don't worry, Barrett will play us a song. That'll cheer everybody up, right? You guys love Barrett and his music. Think you can fast travel back here too soon after the gold saucer and you can't miss quests, I think they've said that. Yeah, I figured as much. Barrett's theme, okay. Let's do this, I'm going to shut the fuck up. That's mean. What the fuck? <laughs> I thought the song was fucking over. <laughs> That's some bullshit.
There. Fuck you, game. Rhythm games, every song gets one freebie. You beat me a second time, I break the fucking console and we call it quits. Hey, you wanna give me that warding material? Thanks, buddy. Alright, so what do we have for drinks? We have, uh, oh my god, what the fuck, the draft, the Craftsman's Brew, the original Reeve? Cocktails, we have Sunny Sunset, Journey's End, oh god damn you. Alright, so I'm beating your ass at- Are you fucking kidding me? I have to beat your ass in a card game as well? What are you looking at? If you got something to say, then spit it out. Do you not recognize me? Such a badass that even Beck and his bitches couldn't handle me. Kick me out of their stupid little game. That's right. You're standing face to face with the legendary Biff. You shaking in your boots yet? Oh. Tough guy, huh? Respect. But it seems to me like we got no choice but to settle this with a game of Queen's Blood. And if I whoop your ass, you gotta give me three, no, seven whole gill. Oh no, not seven gill. Whatever will I do? His name is fucking Biff. Yeah, and he sounds like, uh... Jason something. I can't think of the guy's name, but it's Rexplode from, uh, from Invincible. And he plays Derek on The Good Place. And he's the cop from Brooklyn Line 9 that uh, ends up dating Rosa. Who got in a little too deep and just became addicted to coke and every drug and crazy vice. Bon Holy shit! When destroyed, lo lower the power of allied and enemy cards on affected tiles by four? It it actually spreads pawns out orthogonally, but in all eight spaces it attacks. Oh, are you gonna build a destroy against me, dude? Am I gonna have to hold Shiva out until the very end? You're normally an idiot. I'm scared of you, though, now. Something's gonna happen, and I don't like it. I'm gonna hold off. Give me a second. There's a reason. Good. You you did something I wanted more than anything. Yes. You'll see in a minute. Okay, fucker. We, uh, we're doing this, huh? Give me a second. Let me see what he does.
<laughs> yes. Just a pit. You know what, jackass? Fuck you. There, I'm happy. So Biff, how uh how were you expecting to beat me again? from the bandit life because I just couldn't hack it. Be a bartender. So I, I figured I'd turn over a new leaf and become a Queen's Blood player instead, but turns out I'm no good at that neither. Be a Mai Tai. Tell me, what's the trick, man? How do I get your kind of skills? What, don't like handing out free advice or something? Only a real cheapskate would charge for that shit, asshole. Well, better hang on to that gill of yours because next time we meet, I'm going to take seven off you for sure. Oh no, not seven go. Whatever will I do? Dude, just become a Mai Tai fighter. I mean, you've already got the fucking knee and arm shit going on. You have protection. You don't have to bind your arms or anything. I, I don't see why he couldn't just do that. But whatever. It's not my place to tell him words of wisdom. It's my place to kick his ass and crush his motherfucking dreams. Wait, is the other guy up here? Oh! Okay, there's other shit. Um, over here. The lunches we got oh, I'm gonna. Much better. Wait, this is a dog. Oh, don't mind Rolf here. He's just a bit worked up, is all. Red Thirteen can't play in the fucking tournament because he's an animal. <laughs> but this is a level five opponent. <laughs> Wait, do you play Queen's Blood? It's really excited whenever he senses a skilled player nearby. This is a dog! <laughs> you may find this hard to This play. is a normal dog! <laughs> Only T9 competitor. And he's pretty good too. Bullshit! Red 13! <laughs> he's saying he wants to go around with you. Well, you game? No! Red 13's game though, he's gonna show him who's the better dog. This is some bullshit. When play destroyed ally, destroy allied and enemy cards on effective fi Fucking what the fuck? <laughs> Red 13 gets no fucking love. This game is racist towards Red 13. I'm not okay with this. Joke's on you, kid. Doggo. Joke's on... Wait. Joke's on you. Fuck off. Wait. I didn't think about this very carefully. I kind of want to pause my assault. Let me think about this. I will make it up. You're gonna attack that one? Okay. Then I will attack. No matter what, I get something. I think. 
You goddamn fool! This guy. <laughs> Is that a German Shepherd? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's that's what we're dealing with right now. Um ooh, ooh, wait, wait, cook. I want to destroy this dog. I just won with 39 against a dog. <laughs> clip it. Please clip this. <laughs> oh my god. I'm writing that fucking timestamp down. I need to start making YouTube shorts. This is how I do it. <laughs> that was beautiful. So dumb. Fuck your dog, he's a bitch. Not the good kind. Not the dog kind, he's just a little punk bitch. Yeah, Germany was the only And once we get famous, we can finally kiss this town goodbye. Yeah, kid, you just got your ass beat by a fucking amateur. Try again. Highest I've seen someone win is like 70 to 0. So, my response is now I have a goal to beat. I still can't fight fight him. I need one more. Damn it all to hell. Still, that was beautiful. Oh god, stupid dog. Stupid fucking dog. Figured you'd have moved on by now. Glad you're here in any case. I got a situation. See for yourself. Yeah, do you? We have one of your rogue men. If you want him back, it will cost you one million gil. Why one million? In terms, we will take care of the rest. What's this? A house that goes to the soul was fucking a three hundred thousand. Yeah, I'll go there. I'm going there. I'm going there. You gonna pay up? Look at this place. Can barely afford bandages. Never mind our ransom. Hmm. Only option is to save the man myself, or hire the right merc to save him for me, or the right merc's friend, to be more precise. Who better to hunt down a criminal than someone who's got a nose for tracking? One finer than any human could ever possess. Well, I can't argue with you there. That was easy. So where do we start? Um. Spoke with some of the neighbors, but they weren't much help. No one saw anything out of the ordinary. Hmm. You know, could be that the perpetrator threw on a hood to blend in. Me, I'm gonna go. I'm just doing all the side shit first. I'm sorry. I should have known that you were gonna sniff the letter. There's a strong scent, but cologne, perhaps. How about that? Picked up the trail already. Ah, which reminds me, there's a compound in our rope friend's sweat that glows when exposed to this light. 17, I didn't need it. Or 7, I didn't know. I. Blah, blah, blah. I didn't need to know that Genova cells glowed. Thanks for that. Hope it helps some. Can the hooded figures also come? Do, do I have to hold a black light to. All the walls they. T oh. <laughs> actually smell them? My olfactory sense is 7,000 times more sensitive than yours. I'm sorry for every time you have to smell everybody's stink shit. 
A single sniff of a person's clothing is enough for me to locate them. You come, there are LOL. A of competing smells through which I must sift. Huh. What do I smell like? Hmm. Like a man who's killed his fair share of fiends, I suppose. <laughs> like blood and shit, then. <laughs> Literal shit. No. Oh, okay. We're actually leaving Coral. Okay. Um. Yeah, I guess. How far are we going, Red? How far does this go? Fucking landworm, huh? Weak to laser. Do you really just say the phrase "you need to chill"? Like that was okay. Okay, Ryan, you want to get this over with because uh, before, like, Yuffie gets eaten again? Vor's not one of the things I'm down with. So it'd be really nice if we didn't have to do that again. It's an FYI. Okay, we also have a Chimera. Perfect. Fucking fantastic. Uh, I'm sorry, do, does he not have the fucking material that makes it all again, or what the hell? Come on, come out. Okay, Cloud, don't die. Thank you. Yes, Cloud, that's what you smell like, like shit. Glad that we established that. Alright, Red. Give me a second. I need to check my fucking materia before I go crazy. Uh... Wait, yeah, assess on all targets. So it was because it was underground. Bastard. The Arvit. Their scent seems to lead straight ahead, but oh, that's not good. What isn't? Oh, hi there. Nothing. Let's continue. No. Oh. Hello there. Hello. Are you the person who wrote a letter? It has nothing to do with the kidnapping. Never mind. Oh, you must be hungry, huh? Sorry, 
but this is people food. What the fuck? Something racist to my dog. Whoa, easy there. I can spare a bite. Damn straight you can. Eat that lamb chop. <laughs> See a guy in a black robe come through? Hmm. Now that you mention it, it was his one hooded fella. With a chocobo carriage headed toward a cave nearby. With a chocobo carriage? What the fuck? Why, why is there a chocobo carriage out here? God, you people travel crazy. I'm a skilled tracker. I have one terrible weakness. What? Food. My appetite. Son of a bitch, I knew it. Powering aroma of meat in the air. I don't think I'll be able to focus on the kidnapper's scent. <laughs> I heard that. Grilled meat is all it takes to throw you off your game? Part 13. A kid at heart. Which also means that he needs to eat. Oh, look. <laughs> you gotta be close. Time to put the doctor's light to use. Actually, what the fuck am I gonna eat today? A compound in the robed individual sweat will <laughs> I hate this. When your flashlight is out, use the left stick to shine it around the area, okay? Oh, yeah, we got, we got cum. It's on his feet, but we got, we got cum. Lead the way, oh shit. Ooh, weapon! It's a weapon! Now I just have to pay close attention to it. There we go. Where's the other one? Right there. Ah, oh, sweet, I love it. Super easy enemy, all things considered. Might have to get rid of them first for now on. Weapon! What are you? I'm gonna guess Tifa. Why did I think Tifa? It's a Red 13 mission and there's a weapon along the way? Fucking, I should have known it was Red. Red, you, uh, you have a new weapon. Which I haven't even finished your other one, I'm sorry. Uh, this is the best one for him strength-wise. This is the best for him magic-wise. Grant haste on all party members. What? Can only be used during vengeance mode. I don't fucking care. That's bullshit. That's broken. That's more important. All right, so I have to exclusively use Red 13 for now on. I have no problem with that. Once we found our man, what should we do with his capture? Well, Sheeran asked us to rescue his patient. We didn't say anything about how we should deal with the kidnapping. We'll Kill. Out later. Kill him. Oh, this one is good. The the haste ability? Or you mean this mission and how it's about to end? Yeah, I'm not gonna go that way yet. For him, good. I'm glad he got a good weapon. I'm going in up. That is a l okay. Let's just back the fuck up for a second. Does this lead to the exact same spot? Is the question. Yes, it does. Let's just go back around and check path number two. Holy shit. Fucking giant chimera. Two of them.
Hello, bitch. Oh shit, right, I have fucking Yuffie on, I'm an idiot. Fuck, I'm gonna have to switch somebody out. Speaking of. Perfect. You can get rid of that fucking weapon. Okay. Alright, you free for real, so I'm gonna take you out. Well, no, I'm not, because whatever. Um, I'll just use red the next time I have to use red. Meanwhile, Aerith, you're gonna go back to. Pop. Yuffie, your No, fuck it. You're good. And Cloud, for good measure, I believe you're good still. All right, now. Lovely, lovely footprints go this way into... Oh, new thing. Never mind. What is this? This place just got a hell of a lot bigger. Holy shit, what the hell? Is there a story at some point here as well? Just feels like it. You're dead. Yeah, it definitely feels like there's something later on in here. Some sort of story thing, but Everything with Coral was just to get to the Gold Saucer initially. There was no other reason to come back. Um, and meanwhile, there's a door. And a what the fuck? Well, the Iron Scorpion Man. Great. Just my, uh, just my luck. What's behind the door? Fuck it. Don't even open it. Why would you do that? It's death. More scorpion man. Great, I'm not playing two games of Death Claws in them. Evade the Reaper Claw attacks will pressure them. Grotesque fiends of sturdy exoskeletons and dense muscles often found in deserts. They sharpen their claws relentlessly and never let their prey escape. God, I need a fucking bench now. And I know there are none nearby. You gotta do some swinging and climbing. Oh, Lord. Oh, I just saw the hook. Oh! 
Oh, it's not just use Yuffie. Everybody can use it. That seems a little cheap. Oh, I want it off. Watch your HP. I'm noticing. Oh, don't you fucking worry. I know. Where am I even going? Like, what is the actual end goal of this? I see. I understand now. Oh my god, thank you for the fucking bench. Holy shit. Actually stupid that I didn't get the bench. Yellow. Everybody loves the yellow. Hell, Coldplay made a song about it. And it was all yellow. How the fuck did the hooded guy do this? Did he have a grappling hook? How did he get up here? Also, boss fight, I'm guessing? Boss fight. Cool. Definitely a boss fight. This is the kidnapper's camp. No sign of them. So, do we wait? No. Help! What? Some crazy bastard kidnapped us and stuck us in this cave. Cool. Who was it? Help! Why would we know anything? Yellow breaks immersion. What? So did the jumping up and dead red arrows in the original. She's got a tattoo, and she's got fingerless or knuckleless gloves. And she thinks for a second, I'm gonna believe that she's not the person. You're not getting that chest on your way back. It's a yellow. It'll be fine. We were too freaked out to even look at him. Mm. Kidnapper could be anywhere. Did she just fucking or smile? The smell. Cloud, it's them. Yeah, no shit. Oh, boo. What? Oh, me. Oh, wow. Guns. I'm so scared. Okay, where is he? Think we just tell you? When I kill you, absolutely. I'll kill one of you. We're the world's greatest double act. Uh-huh. The elusive. Very the breath. These are new. Oh! Okay. <laughs> I wonder what your friends would have paid for you. Guess we'll never know. Well, until I kill your boss. Which, hey, guessed that it was a- oh, Dark Claw, cool. Oh wow, so strong. I'm so scared, guys. Uh, evading its Reaper Claws will pressure it. Or I could just do this. Wait. Okay, nope, nope, never fucking mind. Um, Aerith, we're just gonna... No, 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 no. We're just gonna get warding first. <laughs> and then, then we're gonna fucking... 
Okay, can I just restart the fucking battle? <laughs> this is the kidnapper. No yeah, yeah, right. We've seen this so, already. We We're gonna skip. Excuse me? I'm suspicious? Or the robed guy? Who? Both. So. That was a lot of damage. That's why I'm just kind of backing out for now. Best do it right. Meanwhile, Aerith, your job right now is gonna get to... You're gonna get up to the amount that you need for prayer. Cloud, you're just gonna... Oh god. Ow! Fucking okay, Aerith, you're gonna heal. That's your job. Let's switch it up. You're in good hands now. Um. Okay. Yuffie, you're gonna do the thing. Cloud, you're also gonna do a thing. There we go. Dark Claw, go fuck yourself. Do I get to fight you now? You have guns! Hey look, we found him. Reunion! Oh, Fuck off! Why am I so good at this? <laughs> what? Old buddy of yours? Barry, look. The kid's eyes. Oh man, he's a soldier. You fucked no the wrong crowd. That monster. But time ain't on his side. Oh, fuck the off! Strongest ones don't stay strong for long. Sooner or later, he'll wind up like all the rest. Another mumbling hooded freak. Did they ever cure that for Cloud? In the original, or is he just gonna die early at some point and him and Tifa only have a limited time? We got our man. Can I get a fast travel out of the cave now? Oh thank god. Glad to see our man still alive. See for a few scrapes, none the worse for the work. You didn't tie him up, you guys suck. They never tied Pikachu up or Ash. Half the time they just played dress up. Believe me, if I knew, I'd tell you. And they were pretty. That's why we love Team Rocket. Only doctors with access to those. Team Rocket says, "Fuck you, gender norms," and I go, "Hell yeah." If anyone here was gonna have answers, it'd be you, son. Been feeling under the weather? Not really. The procedure you boys underwent was cutting edge. So much so, I doubt anyone in the company knew what the long-term effects might be. <sighs> the more information we have, the better. <laughs> so, uh, change your mind about that blood sample? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, one of these days I'll win you over. I don't think you will, old man. Oh man, my t my relationship with the doggy has changed. Alright, it's almost noon, it's three and a half hours, uh, is there anything else I can do here while I'm thinking about it? The answer is probably fucking no. Uh, let's think about this. Three out of four. Side quests. I like that they just teleport you back here. I'm so fucking grateful for that. Alright, let's see it. Can't think of anything else in the region. Because everything else is outside of town, right? Yeah, everything else is outside of town. So. Ready? Then let's get a move on. I'm going to Gold Saucer! There's nothing else! Wait. Ropeway bound level 27. There are no fights in the Gold Saucer. What the fuck are they talking about? Or is level 27 for prison town? This will take us all the way to the salsa. Hey, you can't let those assholes talk to you like that. We should go back and beat them up or something. Practically the whole damn town came out to crap on him. Someone tell me why I'm the only one who's pissed here. I told you, I can take it. Give me, oh my god, give me some shit. Tell me about dying. at least tell us what it was all about? They were talking like you sold them out for money. This is why you wanted me to go to the gold saucer. Not for fucking gold saucer. But for this. But I know that isn't true. That's not you. So how'd they get it so wrong? Where the hell is it? This about her? About Marlene? <sighs> well, I guess I have to tell you guys my well, shittest backstory. Decent place with decent coal. Decent folks, too. Rough around the edges, but big hearts. Salt of the earth. And I... Sold them all down the river. I kind of want to skip this just to get to the gold saucer. <laughs> I'm so excited. The future and their hope. Oh, here we go. Covered in soot and porous dirt, but none of that mattered. We had friends and family, and that was enough. Till we learned about the miracle of Mako and all we'd been missing out on. And then we just had to have a taste. Goddamn Scarlet! Now we actually get to see who visited Coral. So now only Dine is opposed. Damn right I am. We can't just abandon the mines. Not after our fathers and grandfathers risked their lives to maintain them. I hear you, Dine. I do, but nobody sees any future in coal. So I ask you, why break our backs working harder and harder when we're taking home less year after year? Mm. Mm. If I may, sir. Once the reactor is complete, a portion of the revenue will go to the town. Your community will be preserved, or enriched, I should say. Fucking bitch. I can't wait to kill her. Listen, man. This is your chance to give your daughter a better life than what we had. You think I haven't thought about that? I know, Dine. Have you? Come on. Are we gonna let some city slickers tell us our coal is worthless? We gonna let them tell us we're worthless? It would seem we've reached an impasse. In which case, any further discussion would be a waste of breath. So, Mr. Mayor, shall we put it to a vote? Mm. 
Well, God, guys, don't act like Barrett's the only one who voted. Not like it's only Barrett's fault, assholes. Two years later, the reactor was finished, and the trial run went off without a hitch. That almost rhymed. Everyone was ecstatic. Convinced it was the dawn of a new era. Then one day... <clears throat> the reactor exploded. Y'all saw the aftermath. You mean the giant fucking life stream pool? Yeah, I might have noticed. What the fuck? Was that Scarlet? It was, wasn't it? Yeah. That bitch. I don't get it. Why burn the whole town? To craft a story that it was all the work of a local insurgent group. But ain't no villager ever gone near the reactor. They lied. Right through their teeth. Probably Murderous. did it on purpose. Hmm. Made a yeah, shitty reactor just yeah. because. There's a whole lot of blood on my hands too. You weren't the only one who voted. I pushed for the reactor. Oh, there we go. I put us on the path that brought us here. Everybody else voted. I might have pushed it, but this time it's not just him. The original was just him. Here, there's a fucking committee. Could have all voted no. You saw that Cole was dying. That's some bullshit. Really, how it's gonna be. Listen, I don't want your sympathy or your pity. You can keep all of that nonsense. I did what I did, and I can live with it. Right. We gotta shake this off. We're about to rock up to the funnest place ever the gold saucer. Huh? So turn those rounds upside down. <laughs> what in the hell? Ain't no one but you thinking about how much fun we're gonna have. Right? No, I'm I'm here for the fun. Wanna have a look? It's coming up over there. <sighs> Goddamn train, you cannot stop me from being excited for the gold saucer. You shut the fuck up! <laughs> Glad to see we're all on the same page. Gold saucer, gold saucer, gold saucer, gold saucer. Frame rate ro drop, just like the original. Oh my god. What? Oh my what what is it every summon shut up oh what the fuck Shall we? Let's. 
Parrot, damn you, take the sunglasses off. Ah, oh, yes, rogue people. Alright, I cannot wait to see what the hell is past us. I cannot wait, I cannot wait, I cannot wait. A staff room, this is new. This is all sorts of- oh my god. <laughs> no, 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 no. Is it everything I wanted and more? Is it everything I wanted? It looks so fucking good. Give me a second. I can't. I can't. Oh my god. <laughs> no! Get the fuck away! You don't get to be here! Oh my god, the fuck out! Barrett Wallace, Tifa Lockhart, and Cloud Strife. Go away! Greasy man! Look at them. Look! Go away, Chuck. Walsing around with the flower seller and Hojo's lab rat. Who are these people? At least they're finally on a real wanted list. It's about time. That's all well and good. But why am I in charge of handing out the posters? Don't they know I have a division to run? I think you're where the president wants you. Now go fuck yourself, Palmer. God, you're such a loser. Yes. Cloud, yes. The others are waiting. Oh. Oh my Oh my god, it's the Bronco. It's a little Bronco. Buggy parking. How do you even get up here with a buggy? What? How? What? Oh my god. Oh my god, giant moogles. I, I, okay. Okay. I think I reached a good... Oh. Oh no. Wait. I was about to say I think I reached a good stopping point, but let me just see real quick. Oh. Oh, they're each actually individual regions. Oh god, it's gonna be so much bigger than the one in 14. Yes. Yes, game, yes. You understand what I need it more than anything. 32 hours in, and I get to the fucking best part of the fucking game! Oh my god, giant chocobo spheres! Giant Moogles! <laughs> you please do one more cutscene. Fine, fine, fine. It's right up here, right? Okay. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Fine. I'll do one more. You'll see Kate's. Okay. The two moms and their kid. Oh my god, they're so fluffy! Oh my god, he's so fluffy! What is happening?! Please tell me everybody gets hit with one. Please, please tell me everybody gets hit with one. What is happening? What the fuck is Andrea doing here?
god! You're no god, Bert Manderville! But oh my god, what the fuck? What is what is happening? Oh, oh daddy take me! Holy shit! What? Is this gonna be Queen's Blood? Is this gonna be an actual fight like in the original? Now, now, when fate sets us a challenge, we must rise to meet it. Are you ready to rumble? Fucking Kate. Oh my god, wait, seriously? Wait. Oh my god, it's a fucking boxing minigame! You can do this, Cloud. That's what this is, isn't it? It's a boxing minigame! Fuck yeah, let's fucking go! <laughs> you couldn't just let me leave on a cliffhanger to enter the next stream with this, could you? You had to let me just go fucking balls out. Oh my god, okay. Deliver three punches, dodge three times, hit two times in a row. Holy shit. Once your ADB gauge is full, you can deliver a punch. However, watch your opponent carefully as you can only land a hit when they have dropped their guard completely. I'm sorry! The original was rock, paper, scissors! Is this fucking punch out? Did they make this into an actual no luck fuck you thing? Guard left and right. Oh my god, they did. Oh my god. I'm so confused. I'm trying. Okay, I can hold it. What the hell? Damn it! I'm about it. People have said the same thing about it being punch out. So whatever hand he uses to touch his tummy, that's the one that I have to hit with. So if he uses his right hand, which is my left, then that's the one I have to hit with. It seems. Yeah, I got it. Alright. I'm ending this. Did I just do cross slash as a fucking star punch? Done, 
Why is my relation with Red the one that changes? And not Tifa, the punch girl! What did you drag me into by continuing? No, I don't want to stop. But I have to. The cat needs stabbing. I need to edit. I have to prepare for tomorrow. You know, he's getting into it. God, the next three fucking streams are gonna be this area. <laughs> Evie's Wu Tai Pop Star outfit has been added to the changing booth! Does everybody else get one? Oh, and I know Cloud's loving it. Don't worry. Fucking character guy! Look at him go! Tomberry man! Do you have Tomberry balloons to give out? Oh my god! Oh my god, no wait! They're fucking- they're the dog! They're the Shinra dog! Oh my god! What does the other one have? You have Moogle faces. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't want to stop. I have to. Oh my god, I can't wait to see more of this on Thursday. Oh, uh, why is this game so fuck good? Dio. Dio just made everything better. All right. Thursday. We're going to do more of the gold saucer. Holy shit. This is for specifically the YouTube people. If you watched all this fucking VOD or whatever, then, you know, the normal shit. You should follow on Twitch. You should follow on... YouTube, all that normal stupid bullshit that everybody has to say because of fuck bullshit. Um. Keyboard, well, you couldn't just let this one go, huh? I I had to do a boxing minigame. <laughs> Shit. Shit, man. Shit. <laughs> Why do you do this to me? I still have to play more of fucking Unicorn Overlord and Hi-Fi Rush and of course I am barely anywhere in Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> and Crow County comes out in May it seems so that's going to be another game. Alright. Alright. I, I will see you all on Thursday. You had to see it. I didn't have to see it. It could have been like the start of the next stream. Could have had like extremely low energy from work and then just gotten all this fucking hype. God, it was awesome though. Holy shit. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just... Oh god, I don't want to stop, but I have to. Alright. I'll see you all later. Have a good rest of your day. Or whatever time period it is. Go eat. Go hug your animal. Go hug your family. Go fucking smoke a blunt. I don't know. Have a good one.